What did you think of this year's fireworks display? I just hope this festival can be everything that people want it to be. Really? I hope you're not just saying that to reassure me. I want you to be straight with me if you have any suggestions. <clears throat> anyway, if you have any time during the festival, take a look around the city. There's a lot to see, but it won't last, so make the most of it. <sighs> if only I had a little more free time. I'd love to take you around and show you everything we did to make the city look special during the festival. Hmm... With everything that's happened on the way here, I feel like we're forgetting something. Chongyun, just look at the stunning scenery of Jinxa Village. If I could sum it up in one word, would you say exquisite does it justice? I think that. Uh, I remember now. What about the demons? Quick, Singcho, get the ancient text out. There isn't a moment to lose. Careful now, Chongyun. Let's not rush into this. Just as tea is to be imbibed one sip at a time, these things must be done step by step. If we are too hasty and end up with enemies on all sides, even we, with our level of martial prowess, may find ourselves overpowered. Hmm. You do have a point. All right then. I'll take you at your word. Again. Excellent. Now then, what was I talking about? Huh. Now I've lost my train of thought. Help me, Chongyun. What was I saying? Uh... I've forgotten, too. We meet again, Traveler. What a rare opportunity to meet with you here in Liyue during this finest of festivals, as busy as you are on your travels. As you can see, I'm ambling the streets at my leisure, enjoying the sound of people chattering and birds chirping. Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor has been somewhat idle as of late, so I am presently unoccupied. When the director is out visiting friends, I take the opportunities to head out myself. Habit dictates that my first port of call is here, where I order myself a pot of tea and listen to the storyteller. At festival times, the storyteller will always select a few new passages that complement the spirit of the season. Most are variations on existing legends or accounts from folk history. Their historicity is questionable at times, but it is their entertainment value that makes them an excellent choice for the festive period. <laughs> then it seems you are becoming rather familiar with the storyteller at this establishment. Time marches forward relentlessly. People change. Traditions change. Lantern Rite is no exception. In times of old, Liu was constantly at war. People lit lanterns and sent them into the sky to help guide the warriors on the distant front back to their home. Today we live in a time of peace, and the custom of releasing lanterns has become ceremonial in nature. For the people of Liu, the ritual of lighting lanterns every year symbolizes the undying spirit of heroism. The things that refuse to be shaken by the passage of time, those are Liu's roots. Traveler, I hope that you are able to celebrate the Lantern Rite together with the people of Liyue. Plans. Not a notion that can be easily applied to me anymore. I am a man of leisure. I simply go wherever I am inclined, wherever that may be. Although, now that you mention it, yes, I should make the most of this festive period by venturing to parts of Liyue that lie beyond the harbor. I began with tea at third round knockout today. Perhaps tomorrow I shall try somewhere else in the near vicinity. It is quite a joy to be idle and explore this bustling city at my leisure. Let me tell you. 